Backlash against President Trump after two White House staff members were let go amid accusations of domestic abuse. The president repeatedly expressing sympathy for the men, lamenting their shattered lives, calling for due process. Tonight, among those crying foul, an ex-wife of one of those former staffers who says the president has implied she's a liar. ABC's David Wright is at the White House tonight. Tonight, President Trump on the defensive for lavishing praise on former White House Staff Secretary Rob Porter, even after both Porter's ex-wives accused him of domestic abuse. He says he's innocent, and I think you have to remember that. He came and grabbed me by the shoulders here um, and, and pulled me out of the shower in a rage. Today, one of Porter's exes, Jenny Willoughby, recounts her own anguished response to the president's remarks in Time magazine. Quote, I was floored, she writes. My friend turned to me and said, the president of the United States just called you a liar. She also expressed outrage over the president's Saturday tweet, railing against false accusations and demanding due process for men accused of sexual misconduct. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand reminded her constituents that more than a dozen women have accused Trump, tweeting, if he wants due process, let's have congressional hearings tomorrow. Those accusers have had their day on your network and, and elsewhere for a long time. They have no witnesses. There's nobody around. It's a total setup. Trump adamantly denies he ever groped any of his accusers. Believe me. She would not be my first choice, that I can tell you. And when it comes to his friends and allies, he gives them the benefit of the doubt. From Roger Ailes. I can tell you that some of the women that are complaining, I know how much he's helped them. To Senate candidate Roy Moore. He says it didn't happen. Now, Trump isn't the only one facing tough questions. There's also Chief of Staff John Kelly, who allowed Porter to keep his job even after he learned about allegations of domestic abuse. Today, White House officials insisted Porter misled the president and Kelly. It became obvious when the photographs came out that the person was not being honest with the president. Budget Director Mick Mulvaney said these photos from one of Porter's ex-wives sealed his fate. Porter denies the abuse allegations and insists the photos are not what they seem. All right, David Wright joins us live now. Now, David, the White House is saying they'll be focusing on a major infrastructure legislative push, but the turmoil surrounding his West Wing will likely continue to draw attention. That's right, Tom. The word infrastructure is almost a bad omen here at the White House. This is at least the third time they've tried to roll out infrastructure week. Each time, he keeps getting derailed. Tomorrow, the president would like to focus on his plan to spur $1.5 trillion in investment in America's crumbling infrastructure. But it's likely that these other issues will continue to dominate, Tom. One of his major campaigns.